Have you ever imagined a world without color? Picture Europe in the first years of the 1500s. It was beige, boring, bland. Beige is hardly even a color, says Jeff Goldblum in the launching of the iMac commercial. It's one of the worst colors. Hi, I am Becca Valle, a Brazilian futurist lecturer, and here I am auditioning to speak about the digital transformation in the Brazilian agribusiness at South by Southwest 2019. So, what Brazil has to do with bringing color to the world? If you think color as music, carnival, bikinis and caipirinhas, yes, we make the world much more colorful. But let's go back to the beige world of the 1500s. The first Portuguese ships that arrived in Brazil, eight years after Columbus discovered America, went back to Portugal, not full of gold, but full of a wood log named Pau Brasil, from which Brazil was named after. The Brazil wood had great commercial value, not because you could eat it, like the black pepper and the cinnamon brought from India, but because this tree was transformed into a deep, vibrant, striking red dye to the great joy of court nobles, the clergy and the privileged, who could afford to stroll around Europe in radiant red clothing. My talk will rapidly pass through all Brazilian economic cycles, from our first commodity for export, the Brazil wood, followed by rubber, sugarcane, cocoa, coffee, up to the amazing record of 117 million tons of soybeans, the world record harvest in 2018. And how is it possible? How did we overcome US as the largest soybean producer? Well, many reasons, one of them being the digital transformation. The second is that Brazil still has 12% more area to expand the agribusiness, while using today only 8% of its arable lands. Note that US and Europe are now using their maximum farm lands. These two reasons alone are of great value to anyone, anywhere interested in technological advances and innovation to feed the potential population of 10 billion people by 2050. That means almost 3 more billion humans to be fed in only 30 years from now. The smart farm is now controlled by iPhone. It has drones using AI to spray pesticides, not in the whole farm, but only in the constricted area where plagues attacked. The smart farm has tractors, soil, and livestock powered with IoT and cloud computing technology to compensate for human errors. There is even a robot tongue that can taste coffee and was bought by Nespresso to make your ristretto in Austin tastes exactly like it tastes in Shanghai, London, or here in Brazil. As we speak, there are some 800 ag tech startups in Brazil fighting for a piece of this action, and 70% of them were founded in the last two years. Are you willing to take a piece of the action to feed the world population? Or maybe just stop the use of pesticide, transgenic seeds, female hormones used to enhance crops, milk, and beef production? If you are ready, I'm looking forward to meeting you in Austin and cheering my approval to speak at the South by Southwest over a few caipirinhas.